Now let's go over to our weathercaster, E. G. Hyun, who's standing by at World Cup Park for us, quite near where I live, actually, Ji Hyun. But uh, this generally is the most uh, beautiful time of the year here in Korea, but it's been far too cold for my liking. Uh, but also, you have to have a decision over what to put on in the morning and then be able to take it off in the afternoon. I'm seeing people leaving their T-shirts and lighter jackets behind and going for the heavier versions these days. Good morning again, Mark. Yeah, roller coaster temperatures for sure, lots of ups and downs. But I can tell you that there will not be any dramatic changes in weather for the next 10 days or so. Well, it is getting warmer now under sunny skies, so I had to take out, take off rather, my thick winter jacket. It was making me too warm. But at the same time, I hope you are enjoying this brilliant view of World Cup Park that I filled with the beautiful silver grass, this nice crisp under gentle breeze under clear blue skies. And soon the capital region will also be covered with the orange, gold, beautiful autumn foliage. With that, let's talk about today's weather conditions. Low single digits to start the day in most regions. In fact, Paju in Gyeonggi-do province was just above freezing mark. But by the afternoon, it will hike up to the mid-teens, leading to big gaps under plenty of blue skies for most areas. But rain clouds are moving towards the east coast, so if you're in that area, you'll need rain gear. 5 to 30 millimeters of precipitation is in the forecast. The amount of rain will not be much, but rain could linger into tomorrow along with thunder and lightning. Daily highs will be similar to yesterday's. Hork going up to 16 degrees. Take wet 18 degrees Celsius this afternoon. And we can expect fine late autumn weather this weekend, but there will be wide gas between the lows and highs. So be sure to dress accordingly. The air is getting dry as well, so if you are planning for hiking this weekend, be careful with anything that can start a fire. That's all for now. Back to Mark in the studio.